Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to head off to Home Goods, and I'm going to take you all through the store with me and show you some of those items that I personally scan for to help give my space that high-end designer feel, but of course we're getting them for those amazing Home Goods prices. So I'll give you some high-end dupe comparisons and some styling tips and ideas as we move through the store, and then we'll come back home and I'll show you everything that I found for my space and how I styled it throughout my home. So should be a really fun video, and without further ado, let's go to Home Goods. All right, so here we are at Home Goods, and the first spot that I checked out that had a ton of designer dupes was the lighting section. Now, for me, Home Goods lighting has kind of been hit or miss in the past, but they have so many stunning table lamps right now, like this asymmetrical woven one that is a nearly identical dupe for the Seta Wicker table lamp at Crate and Barrel that's priced at $350. Well, you can get this same exact look for 80 bucks. Okay, so next we have this wood based lamp for $40, and it has super similar lighting lines to the one at West Elm that's over four times the price and honestly I like the home goods one a little bit better just because of the extra texture that the lampshade has and if you're looking for more of that old world feel they have these really cute gooseneck lamps that reminded me a lot of mine that I found at an antique store and something that I'm seeing almost every designer site carry right now is some sort of alabaster lamp and this one looks almost identical to the one that they are selling at our house for the whopping price of a thousand three hundred dollars while these are only $100 each. And next I wandered over to the glassware section and here I found a ton of these hand-blown glasses. We actually have these in both sizes and I love them for entertaining and margarita nights and $5 a glass is actually one of the lowest prices that I've seen. They do sell these at World Market and Kirkland's but they are closer to $9 per glass. These would look so cute displayed out on a bar cart or maybe some open shelving. They also had them in a more colorful rim style as well and I love that when you look at them all, the heights are just a little bit different because each one is hand blown. They also had these super gorgeous hand painted wine glasses that would be perfect for spring and I actually have a mini tutorial on painting wine glasses for Christmas but you could easily just do the same technique with flowers for spring and they would make great gifts for a wine lover so I will link that tutorial below in the description. Okay, so next it was time to head on over to the furniture section and they had so many gorgeous pieces right now. One thing that I specifically look for when picking out furniture is a mix of materials and surfaces. So having a piece with two different textures is very visually pleasing to the eye and just helps it to look a lot more designer. And this sideboard buffet had a very high-end look with the marble and wood contrasted together and also something that's very big right now in the design world are curves. So the the fact that this piece had those curves subtly incorporated throughout just gives it that designer look and feel. Same thing here with the mix of that cane detail and wood contrasted together. This would be so cute to use as a little bar or storage station with a piece of artwork or a mirror hung above it. Next, we have this gorgeous bench that also has that cane detailing, and this would be so pretty to add a punch of contrast at the foot of a bed or maybe in an entryway as a way to add some visual interest and extra seating. And another material that is really big in the design world right now is travertine. And travertine is a natural type of stone, and it kind of has that old world Tuscan feel to it. And this side table has very similar lines to this one being sold on Burke Decor for $280. So these side tables definitely have a high-end feel to them and would look great styled in a living room or maybe as nightstands in a guest room. I also spotted this travertine console table as well that looked super similar to the Ariel console table at our house that cost $2,500 right now. So the fact that this one was only $250 and could give you that same exact designer look is amazing. I also came across this oversized boucle swivel chair that would be so perfect for a cozy reading corner and I know lots of designer sites carry a lot of boucle pieces like Arhas, Crate and Barrel, CB2, so it's a great way to add texture and warmth to a space and I also did a comfort test and this chair was super comfy. And another thing that's on the rise right now in the design world is the growing popularity of the window pane and checkered patterns and I think that these accent chairs would be a great way to add some subtle visual interest to help break up a space but they're also not too busy or distracting. I also spotted these woven swivel 
wheelchairs that were marked down to $350. And these would be great if you have a more coastal or boho vibe going on in your space. And even if you have a more traditional or modern space, you could always throw these in the mix to help give your space a more casual feel overall and mix styles. Same thing with this woven lamp that could look so great mixed in with pretty much any design style as well. Another thing that I love to look for are casual, lightweight, gauzy throws for the spring and summertime. And this is a very upscale look as well as just a very classic look in general. So they almost always have these made in Portugal throws that help to give a space that casual down to earth feel. And I look for pieces with fringe for some added texture. And I also personally like to find colors that contrast against the sofa or chair that I'm throwing them on to help add some depth to my decorating. Another spot that I always like to scan through is the bathroom section. And here is a great place to think outside of the box as far as the use for the items, like this little soap dish that you could also just use as a catch-all for car keys on an entryway table or for an everyday jewelry holder. I have one that I found at Target and it's a great way to have something so aesthetic but also practical out on the countertop. We also have this toothbrush holder that you could totally turn into a little decorative planter and use it as a styling accent, or you could also use it to hold pens in an office and I love the veiny look of this marble and how it looks to be a lot more expensive than eight dollars. Same thing with this little tray. I'm sure it would look great to hold some soap by a sink but you could also use it in the kitchen or as a little cheese tray. Also the combination of green and brass is very trendy right now so I like that we can go to home goods and just incorporate this combination into our spaces without breaking the bank. I also like to go pop through the home styling and decor section. And right now I'm seeing a ton of vases for amazing prices. And something that I always like to look for when it comes to vases is a handle detail. I think it just helps to give off that old world feel and adds a little touch of visual appeal in a styling piece. And this would look stunning with some greenery stems popped in it, or maybe just on its own placed on a shelf or a console. Definitely very versatile pieces and it's fun to always just kind of look through and see. I also really love distressed wood pieces. I think this would look so pretty out on a countertop with some fruit in it or maybe some bowl filler depending on if it's food safe or not. I also love to look for pieces made out of natural stone or marble and I thought that these bookends were a steal at $15. So at this point I had acquired a full cart so it is time to head home and show you all the deals that I found. All right, so we're back home now and it's time to show you all of the pieces that I feel like I got some really good deals on. The first thing is this set of gorgeous realistic touch peonies. Now, this was $15 for a set of four, which is an amazing deal because that comes in to under $5 per stem and that's on par with like craft store prices. But when I say that these are realistic touch peonies, like truly these feel so real. Like if I was a guest at someone's house and I touched these, I would actually think they're real because they aren't that like fabric-y kind of silk feel. They're actually like rubber. So they truly feel like a real flower. And when it comes to decorating for spring, something that I personally like to do to kind of cut down on costs is just mix a couple of faux florals in with greenery that I already have. So I'm not spending tons of money on bunches of florals to fill out a vase. I'm just kind of making my arrangement feel gathered and organic and just really casual, but still giving that pop of that spring-like vibe to my overall arrangement. And I think this keeps it feeling very down to earth and rustic, which is kind of the look that I go for in my spaces. So yeah, for how realistic these look and feel, I felt like $15 was a steal. Okay, so the next thing that I found was this really pretty kind of rustic style vase. And I scored this for $20, which $20 for a vase this size, I personally think is a great deal, but I almost wrote it off and didn't buy it because I'm not a huge fan of this like rattan detail, but I really did love kind of the rustic brown tone of the vase itself. It did remind me a lot of those wood vases that are available on McGee & Co. I believe one is $110 and that one is sold out currently, but then there's another one that's $75. And this had a very similar kind of dark brown rustic look, but $20, hello. So big price difference there. So I figured what I could do with this is cut this kind of rattan detail off and just use this as a brown rustic vase, so. Okay, so really quick, I wanted to update you all how this came out. When I took the rattan off, it did take off a little bit of the finish 
finished so I just mixed a brown and a black acrylic paint together and painted that over the spots where the finish rubbed off and then I dabbed it with a paper towel to kind of blend it out and you couldn't even tell at all and it just kind of added to the rustic feel of it okay now back to the haul that's my plan stick a couple of rustic stems in here and I figured I could not pass this one up for $20 and also at the time of filming this video this face is available online right now so I will link it below as well as anything similar that I can link or any other products that are linkable but it is very heavy and it is a terracotta material so it also does say not to use water in it this is purely just a decorative vase but I thought it was a really pretty it would be a great rustic styling piece for the price okay so this next piece is too big to physically show right here but I will insert footage and it is so funny because this is not a piece that I needed by any means but Mike and I were walking through it's always dangerous when I go to home goods with Mike because I can consult him and then if we need to move something we can so I think he truly tries to avoid it at all costs he's probably like I'm never going in there with you again but anyway we were walking through and I stopped in my tracks when I saw this gorgeous sideboard buffet it had four doors it had a gorgeous marble top to it and I kind of figured okay that's gonna be really expensive and then I looked at the price and for a sideboard I figured $5.99 was actually a very decent price especially with something that has a marble top because usually that's a very expensive look and a very expensive material you know I opened the doors it seemed to be in really good condition I loved the long hardware I think that is also a very expensive look and then I googled and I found this Melissa sideboard that had very similar features on Lulu in Georgia for $2,600. So I figured, okay, I'm getting this for $2,000 less. We actually pointed out that there were some scratches on the top of the marble. They were very small and I think that we can get them out or at least if we can't, it's in a spot where we can easily put a vase over it or something like that. So I did ask for a further discount. So just so you all know at HomeGoods, if there's an item that is partially damaged or it has scratches or nicks, you can ask for a discount discount and a lot of times they will discount it. So I've done this many times and they did discount it to $540, which I felt like was a really good deal. And then on top of it, I had some gift cards. So it ended up costing us like $400 for this absolutely gorgeous sideboard. So it's going to go in the place of our old console table, which kind of always bothered me. It was a little bit small for the space, but it worked for a long time. And I'm just really excited to kind of give that area a little upgrade. So I think in the future, I am going to do a little maintenance over on that section of our living room so that'll be a really fun video but for now it's just sitting in our garage waiting to kind of move into the space so I'm excited to share that with you all once we get that done but I'm very excited about this purchase and I thought that we made out with it for a steal okay so I don't know about you all but when the weather starts to warm up and winter is starting to be in the rear view mirror we start to get a lot more guests coming through our place and there's been something that I've been wanting to have for when guests come but I haven't found the perfect one and I've had my eye out for it for a long time and I finally found it it is this super pretty little cake stand now this reminded me a lot of the one that sold on Anthropology for over $100. There's also one that I've been eyeing on Amazon, but that one is $60. And I found this for $25. I felt like that was such a steal. And I like that it has the little grooves for the cover. So what I figured I would use this for is just a pretty way to display some baked goods when guests come through. I'm gonna replace my bowl and bowl filler out on our island and put this in there. And that way, if people get hungry or want a quick treat, then there's something easily accessible and it just helps the place to feel very homey and comfortable for people and obviously it's another excuse to bake and display the baked goods in an aesthetic way. So I'm very excited about this and you all know that when I add to my decor collection I try to stick to items that are made out of naturally occurring materials. So things like stone, marble, wood, linens, things like that and I love that this has a really natural look to it so it helps my space to kind of breathe and have that earthy look and feel. So $25 such a steal and I'm excited to use this when people come over. All right, so next when it comes to dish soap, pan soap, cleaners, things like that, I typically see a lot of my favorite designers using kind of like apothecary like bottles. So a way to make my space feel more designer is kind of just collect those and use them throughout my home. And I came across this really cute counter cleaner. It's an amber glass jar and it was only 
$2.99. I love the kind of apothecary-like label on here. And I just thought this would be nice to put some of my cleaners in and get them out of their ugly plastic packaging and put them in something a little bit more aesthetic and high-end looking. So if I have to have this out on my countertop, it'll look really nice and just have a more put together feel overall. When I went, they had a bunch of these. So they had some different labels on there. I really like the labels that look just very clean and minimal. But yeah, I love things like this for my cleaning supplies, hand wash, shampoo, dish soap, things like that. All right, so I know I've mentioned this before on a lot of my home goods shop with me and haul videos, but I always just like to pop into the bakeware section to see if they have any unique ceramic bakeware. And on this trip, I found this really cute baking dish with this gorgeous blue and brown ceramic glaze. And it kind of has that really pretty speckle detail in there. And this guy was only $10 and it was handmade in Portugal, which I think is so cool. I personally love incorporating those handmade pieces into my everyday everyday items. This is microwave safe, oven safe, freezer safe, and dishwasher safe. So that's exciting. And I actually own the larger version of this one. So I found that one a while back. And so I like that this was a little one so I can make, you know, smaller dishes. You know, it's just me and Mike here at the house. So I'm constantly wanting a smaller size for things like pastas or enchiladas or brownies, things like that. So I figured that this would be a really great size. So very excited about this to add this to my bakeware collection. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this little home goods shop with me and haul. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support my channel and make sure you're subscribed because I post new home decor content every single week. I also am very active in my community page and I post things like sales, restocked items and new arrivals over there. So that's another benefit of being subscribed and definitely leave me a comment letting me know what kind of videos you like seeing from me. Do you love the shop with me and haul type videos? Are you more into the dupes or do you want to see more decorate with me's? Leave me a comment and let me know. And I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a fabulous week and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.